Hey everyone, it's Christy here. I'm here for In Your Pocket Tuesday. Um, and I'm, I apologize for my voice. Just getting over a bit of a cold. So, uh, in the inspiration piece, I took from it the orange, the red, and the blue. And the orange actually turns out to be more of a yellow in my layout, but there was lots of red and orange uh, in the photos, so I thought that went pretty well. But uh, in the beginning there, you just saw my layouts um, side by side, like both spreads uh, side by side, and then now I'm just working on the right, the right hand side. So I'm starting with this card at the bottom. It's just a piece of 6x6 six six paper. Uh, that I cut down and I'm just layering in some scraps um, the polka dot paper is from a card on the left hand side of the layout and uh, along with the red as well I had trimmed down a 4x6 card to make a 3x4 card and the red is just uh, leftover bits so I'm just using those to layer in behind uh, because the photo is a screenshot of an email I received from one of my students' parents, uh, along with a picture that she had sent as well, and so it was a lot of white uh, on a mostly white background, so I just wanted to bring in like some pops of color. So I just layered in some scraps in behind, uh, and it took me a long time to figure out how to kind of uh, orient everything and like layer it because I wanted you to be able to see the photo uh, underneath, but I also wanted to have uh, some room for journaling. So uh, the email is just from one of the moms, and she just says like tonight. Uh, Oliver wrote in his journal at home, and you must be really animated <laughs> when you're reading to the kids. And so she just kind of wanted to send a nice email saying that I was doing a good job, and I thought it was just really, really sweet. So I wanted to include that, something different, uh, something that I don't always um, have proof of, I guess. You know, parents can say it to you, but it's one thing to have an email. So anyways, I added a little chipboard arrow and some enamel dots along with a date stamp and some roller stamps uh, that just say smiles because it definitely made me smile when I got this email uh, kind of in the evening. So it was a really nice surprise. So now I'm moving on. I got this ephemera pack. It's the Happy Place uh, ephemera. Um, and by Fancy Pants, and so I break it open, and am determined to use uh, the pieces in this layout. Uh, I thought the colors went really well. It, uh, yeah, it really was quite easy to use uh, the colors and the pieces in this layout. So, um, and if you if you happen to notice the like yellow plus sign just happened to land there and I was like yeah that's brilliant so I kept adding uh, yellow plus signs to that card uh, which is a little bit of a blue uh, border <clears throat> excuse me I'm getting raspy now uh, so yeah all those ephemera pieces are from the fancy pants pack and then I bring in this black uh, chalkboard tag just from my stash just to layer in behind the inspiration piece had a little bit of black uh, just in some of the details so I wanted to bring in some black as well but most of the embellishments even though they look black are mostly like a navy which was really fun to work with so I'm just adding some baker's twine. I got this baker's twine from Michaels and it's come in so handy. Like I use it all the time. So there's a black and white striped and just a solid black and it came in the same uh, package and so I usually use them together. And so two different tags, two different baker's twines. And then just layer the feathers uh, on top. There was a little bit of feathers in the inspiration piece as well, which I did not realize when I picked them, but it was kind of a happy accident. Broke out some brand new stickers um, to spell out November, and it 
was at about this point where I realized I did something crazy. Something I've never done before. And that is when I was planning all my project life layouts, because I fell really far behind, probably like two months behind. Uh, when I did the planning for this layout months ago, uh, I must have combined two weeks together, which has never, ever happened. So I'm not quite sure why I chose to do that. Maybe I didn't have enough photos, but when I went to look at the dates that these photos were taken, they spanned two weeks. So I did not want to stop my uh, progress, so I just went with it, and yeah two weeks in one layout so yeah that makes me feel a little bit better because I'm almost caught up now I think I have four layouts left for 2015 I just recently got this um, tinsel Heidi shine uh, in a three pack I thought it was black but it's more of a gray which I'm oh I'm okay with because there's it's definitely gray uh, other gray bits in this uh, layout, but uh, yeah, I just thought that card needed an extra something, so I splattered it. It took a while to splatter, uh, yeah, and so now I'm just adding these vellum alphas from Studio Calico. I've had them forever. I find them really hard to use because they are like a uh, vellum, like transparent alpha, and so they worked perfectly on the white of the journaling card and so I just spell out potty time because my daughter started potty training this week and yeah I thought it's kind of funny I just shift up the time a little bit so that I can add the date stamp the two photos to the left are of her uh, on the potty at our house uh, our day home provider um, is pretty into potty training, um, and so I just said, yeah, let's do it, and, uh, yeah, so Nora, at the time of starting potty training, was about 16 months old, she's 18 months now, and it's going really, really well, um, I'm sure she'd be doing better if she had parents who were more on top of it, <laughs> but, uh, no, we're really, really thrilled, with how she's doing. Used um, some Fancy Pants labels. If you do not have that ephemera pack, you need to get it because it's amazing. It's just labels. It's just labels. Uh, and then added the family piece and the arrow and just did a little bit of journaling about how my husband's family, we all got together and went for a really nice dinner. And sadly, I did not have room to journal about the photo itself, but they had, like, these huge torches outside, and my nephew was trying to blow out to the fire. So, yeah, just doing some journaling about Nora's first days of potty training. And, yeah, that's why Project Life is for these little, these little milestones. Well, not really little, but, like, these milestones I just don't want to forget. So, yeah. Alright, so this side of the layout is pretty much done. Uh, I'll come back to it a little bit later. But uh, now we're on to the left side. And I'm just corner rounding everything in my super speed. I know you don't like to watch that. So, yeah. Um, let's see. The paper in the bottom left is uh, just from a 6x6 paper pad. And the hay card is from Gossamer Blue. It was a 4x6, six, six, but I just trimmed it down to be a 3x4. And the red matches perfectly uh, to the red on the opposite side of the page. Uh, because that Make Magic Today card was also from Gossamer Blue. So I originally had a photo in this spot, but before filming I decided I didn't really like the photo, so I took it out. It was just a photo of some artwork that my class did, and the colors just weren't that great. Like, the lighting, I guess, in the photo wasn't that great. It kind of washed out the spread a little bit, so I just decided to take it out. So this is a bit of a filler, 
and I wanted to bring in some more chipboard pieces so this house is from the Wonder Collection chipboard sheet and I thought it was really cute and it has some yellow in it bringing in the thickers again and I'm just spelling out days at home originally I wanted to use those vellum alphas again but they just would not fit and you wouldn't have been able to see them anyway on the tag and also I didn't have the two letters I needed to spell at which was so sad <laughs> but that's my luck so I used this really cute at symbol I really love the font of these stickers I think the name of the font is adorn I want to say but yeah I really like the way that looks because all the pictures on this page are just us being lazy at home and hanging out at home and that sort of thing so yeah added another chipboard house to that card just to kind of fill in the space and that card is done after a few enamel dots I'm also bringing in these enamel hearts which are from Teresa Collins I feel like I've had them forever but just never used them I don't love them but the colors match perfectly for this layout and I just am like let's just do it like honestly how bad can it look so I add another ephemera piece that says together and did some journaling these two photos are ridiculous like I just came upstairs one day and my husband I think my husband was like letting me have some afternoon time to scrapbook and so I came upstairs and my daughter and husband are just chilling out on the ottoman my husband's like laying on the ottoman and she just came up and like laid on top of him which is so cute so yeah so when I first picked this hay card I felt like I had big plans and now I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> so I thought I wanted to use that black vellum heart which I do end up using but I wanted I didn't want to make the mistake of journaling on this card um, that happened to me on a different layout and once I like wrote all over it I really didn't like it anymore so I just add the vellum heart and then this little tab which I trimmed down because I didn't really want it to look like a tab but it just says beautiful so now it says hey beautiful uh, the picture next to it is a picture of my daughter sitting on the scale she's a little big <laughs> but <coughs> Excuse me, she's proportionate. She's very tall, but she's also a little bit heavy. So I just wanted to document her weight uh, at this time. Uh, using a few flags uh, on that photo of my daughter and my dog watching a dog on TV. Uh, and just journaling about that. Um, a little bit later I add some red plus signs just to kind of balance out the layout. I'm a big believer in if I use it on one side of the layout, I would like to use it on the other. It doesn't always happen, but when I can make it happen, I really like the way that that looks. And so, on that note, because I used the black and white twine on the right hand side of the layout, I wanted to bring it in on the left and so I just do a little bunch of bunching of the twine and I really like the way that that looks just adds a little bit more dimension my tiny attacher is on the fritz I don't know if you could see as I was stapling that but like every time I go to staple I have to open and close it and then it magically works like I don't have to adjust the staples or anything I just have to open it and close it and it will work I don't know what happened I took it on a crop and maybe it got jostled or something on the move but uh, yeah I don't know so if you have any tips for me please let me know adding some thickers just so it says Xmas pics instead of X Christmas photos we took our Christmas photos on this day uh, during this week and want to incorporate that even though it's not a Christmassy spread but yeah I want to incorporate it 
add a few more enamel dots and I think this side is pretty much done. So I just put everything in the pocket and then I really like to see the spread side by side just to see the balance of colors and embellishments and that sort of thing. And usually I spend a little bit more time but at this point I'm just like, you know what, I like the way it looks. So I just pull out this one hay card and add a little bit more of the Heidi Shine just so that's on both sides of the layout. And then I just decide, hey, it's done. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the Crafty Maven Getaway. And if you'd like to check out my channel, it's Sweet Girl Designs, and it will be linked in the description box. Thanks so much. Bye.